Have you ever wanted to have a bunch of blocks in your inventory that were virtually pointless? Okay, well not all of them are pointless, but they are all illegal. Welcome to the second episode of Exploiting Minecraft in Hardcore. This is easily going to be the most controversial exploit of the whole series. Because in Snapshot 11 W49A, with the single click of one button on the keyboard, you can go from survival mode straight into creative mode. And that gives us access to the creative menu, where inside, you'll find spawn eggs. There are machines capable of doing this in 1.12, However, they consist of a series of redstone contraptions that I'm not even going to pretend that I understand. So instead, I'm going to exploit a feature provided where I can just grab them directly from the creative menu. Now, I could get so many blocks here to use, but I know that having all of these free resources will only kill my drive to want to play and do anything else on this world. I won't feel like I've earned it. So, we're only going to grab the ones we can't get in survival. Um, again, there are other ways to get bedrock in survival. There's, there's quite a few methods. However, one of them also involves 1.12 and building that ridiculously complex contraption and some save data thingies and some chunk loading thingies and some suppressor thingies and look, this is just a lot easier. Just, this is easier. And grabbing a few stacks of golden apples for science. I want to see if the enchantment rolls on through the updates. But that's pretty much all we're going to have for this update. I really don't want to stick around to temptation and end up grabbing more stuff that I really shouldn't. We've got an awesome amount of spawn eggs to play with the mob spawners plus bedrock and plenty of food so that we can get on with some enchanting. Welcome to Minecraft 1.3.1, the first update allowing the player to craft notch apples. So now you can see why we duped so much gold and, and, and the, those apples in the previous updates. Just making sure all my spawn eggs made it through the world conversion and that's... Believe me, some of these tests, they don't actually all make it through. So I've got to check everything, every update. And as you can see, golden apples, they're no longer shiny. But thankfully, all of our gear is. We can work on that a little bit later. Now, for those wondering why I'm crafting an entire chest worth of notch apples, there's a really simple explanation for it. You see, one of my friends told me that they were going to be the first person in Hardcore to have a shulker box full of notch apples. So, I challenged him and said I'd be there, I'd be done in a week. And he accepted the challenge. So, here we go. I now need to get myself an entire shulker box's worth of enchanted notch apples. And there you have it. One chest of notch apples. Let's go on to the next exploit. Minecraft update 1.4.2, the introduction of anvils. Now that we have anvils, we can combine all of the armor and tools from previous episodes that we enchanted with Feather Falling 1. This is gonna be a very long, tedious process of waiting for the zombies, killing the zombies, grinding for a few levels, combining two items, and then repeat. But with the power of video editing, here's 16 hours of grinding at a mob spawner in one exciting time lapse.
I don't know what's going on with this fire, but it's here. But it's not. But it is. Even though it's not. There you have it, my axe, pickaxe, shovel, leggings, chest plate and helmet, all with Feather Falling 4. Hopefully there's still room I can put protection on the armors and unbreaking efficiencies and whatnot on the tools, but all of that there won't happen till about 1.14, so that won't be till the next episode. So I was seeing if I could add textures to the world and I came across a very interesting site. You see, Netherrax textures look like that of running water. So, of course, I had to grab more out to have a look. And, yep, that looks strange. I was also curious what other blocks had strange textures. I found that gold to be quite interesting. It was a little bit on fire. I, yeah, this is 32-bit textures for you. So after seeing my nether portal wasn't there, I had to check that out too. And this place is a mess. The lava's completely lost its texture and so is a lot of the water. Please use Optifine or MC Patcher, which of course I am not using. And like usual, I'm being bullied out of the nether by a ghast. It's always a ghast. But no, no, that's enough mucking around with that stuff, and back to taking advantage of bugs in the game. We've had to update a couple versions to Snapshot 12W49A, where now we can enchant books. And they've also fixed the enchanting table, so it doesn't require 50 levels anymore. Unfortunately, however, it still does take all of your levels. It's just you only have to get 30 now. So it's time for another grind at the mob spawner to get ourselves some books to enchant with. Not only can we get enchantment books, but we can also put them onto just about anything I want. Just about anything I want. Some of the more humorous ones would have to be Blast Protection 4 on TNT. Which makes me want to get pumpkins to enchant. But I haven't found any yet. Now, I did anticipate that looking for pumpkins was going to take anywhere between 1 hour and 16 hours. So, I decided to do this bit on stream. I'm trying to record YouTube. Can chat not troll me, please? I'm... You guys are bullies. If I die because you guys are trolling me, you guys are going to have to explain to, to YouTubes why the world is over and we no longer have a world of, of exploitations and why we're starting season two of exploited that's going to be all on chat if you guys kill me and if i die i'm blaming chat therefore no matter how i die it is your fault okay that's fair right that's fair that's fair cool 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 cool, cool. do i have f3 i do have f3 yeah yeah look how expand look at f3 look at f3 oh my god Look at it. It's ter it's so it's so small. It's so minimalistic. Who needs like who needs um better F3 when you can just have, you know, bugger all F3. Oh shit. Where did we just come from? I went the wrong way. Oh um, no, nips. We came from this way, which means which way am I heading? Where's the east? Oh, yeah! Oh my god, I don't have a bow. I need a bow. Oi, oi brass. 
Huya! Oi, and Huya! Missed him. I will fight you. Huya! I'm going to die. Huya! I'm not going to die. You're going to die, Casper. Get ready. Yeah! Okay, I'm not good at this. Casper! Sorry, Kyle. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hi, Kyle. I saw you. Hey! Da! Just a bit. Just dealing with um. Just dealing with a bully. Just dealing with a bully. We will get straight on. Die! Die! Yes! Achievement! We are the best Minecraft players ever. We are the best Minecraft players ever. That was scripted for content. I only played that fight out for a while just for content. You know, it get people like a bit of risk and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. Anyway, let's get back into... I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. Okay, look, look. We've gone far enough as far as I'm concerned. We're going to put the portal... Like up here, we're gonna put the portal just, just here, where it seems moderately nowhere is safe. We're just gonna put the portal right here, right, right. One, two, three, four. Full size portal. Full size portal. I hate you guys so much right now. I hate you guys so much right now. Why do you have to troll me? Stop! I didn't bring enough. No, I did bring enough. I just oh nips. Learn to count. Learn to count. If an actual gas spawns now, this is going to hurt me. I'm going to get a big boo-boo from it. Why do you guys have to be this way? Why do you... Who... Is this because I'm a nasty person and I troll all you people and therefore you're like, you know what, Nips? It serves you right because... I... Stop it! You guys are terrible, terrible people. You guys are terrible, terrible people. Oh, we're going to fall in death. We're in a... Oh my god. I should have brought a bed. Oh, I should have brought a bed. And a bow and arrow. I should have brought a bed and a bow and arrow. I've made a great mistake. I did not bring a bed or a bow and arrow. And I don't know what time it is. Oh no. Oh, I should definitely get my coordinates and um, of this portal. We should definitely get our coordinates of that portal. Alright, so I think... I don't... I don't think... I really don't think I'm going to find a pumpkin in the jungle, but this is a new, it is a new biome and I'm kind of interested in it. And it does, like I said, it does state that I can find pumpkins where there is grass and I'm going, okay, that's not vague at all. That's not even mildly vague. Oh my God. Jungle trees look so bad. In, in when they're in the wrong biome. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh, they look terrible. Oh, the vines look terrible. Oh, they look gross. But we'll find them. Don't you worry about that, my ladies and gentlemen. Do you not worry about this? I will do all the worrying. You guys just sit back and relax. I'm going to find a pumpkin. I know where to find pumpkins in modern day versions. You just have to find yourself a tiger biome and they're everywhere. But then you come into these versions and you're like, um, well, I think this is a tiger. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think that's a swamp. That's a sheep. We need to kill some sheep and make a bed. Die! Thank you, sheep. And die! And die! Di die! In-game. How many of those do we have? Two. We need one more. And die! Thank you, sis. And that's one more right there. We'll grab ourselves a bit of wood. And I'm going to create a bed so we can get through the night. Because it's scary when you play old versions of Minecraft. And I don't want to be scared. So, I'm going to craft a bed. And I don't even know where a safe spot is to craft a bed right now. Because everywhere feels dangerous. Everywhere feels dangerous. Um, I'm just going to craft it right here. This is probably the safest spot we're going to find out of... I mean, it's not really a safe spot or a not safe spot. So we'll just put those there. And then we'll put one, two, three. And then we'll go one, two, three. Make the bed. And then... Oh, yeah. Figures as a creeper. As soon, look at that. Creeper right there. This is why it's not safe. This is why it's not safe. I don't know if I want to sleep. Just in case I die blowing up while I try and sleep. So... Oh, 
we're gonna do this. There's no phantoms in this version, so I can make myself a little platform up here, and the only thing that's gonna be able to get me is a skeleton. Well, we're fine, we're fine. Look at this, we are now in day mode. So we're a bit more safe, and there's creepers. Not everywhere, but there's two creepers. That's close enough to being everywhere. Can I have that? I'd like this, please. Okay, back to searching for pumpkin. Maybe if we like get up into somewhere high, like this is pretty high. Can we see them from up here? I can't see any, can't see anything over there. Where can I see pumpkins, pumpkins, looking for pumpkins. Honestly, I think pumpkins are actually a, 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 um, a miss, they, they don't actually exist. They're actually a, they're actually a, um, they're, they're, um, it's misinformation. Pumpkins don't exist in this version of Minecraft as far as I've seen so far. Actually, apparently they came out well before this version of Minecraft, but I can't find them. So according to chat, they're in the junk, they're in the desert, and here's a desert. So if we, no way. I, Velvet, I can't believe that you just come in and go, they're in deserts. And then we just find a desert smack in front of us. And then right on the edge of said desert, there just happens to be it, this almost looks planned. This almost looks... It almost looks staged. Which is... We all know it wasn't staged. I've got witnesses. I've got witnesses to say it wasn't staged. But that felt pretty close to being staged. Holy. Oh, sweet. So we have only been looking for an hour. We've only had to spend one hour looking for pumpkins. Which is incredible. That is an awesome. That is so... Okay, I'm so happy right now. That is so good. Yes! Look, we found it. We, we found this. So we're going to come down here anyway. We found this. So we're going to go down here. What we're going to do... Is... We're going to go down to the bottom here. This is scary because I don't want to die. We're good. Okay, we're good. Is there any cool stuff? Well, gold's... I mean, bones are good. I don't need any rotten flesh, that's for sure. Oh, emeralds are probably going to be useful. We don't really need any iron. And... or diamonds, but... I mean... Either way... I like this... I like this, um... I like this temple because this temple was spawned in without clay. It was spawned in with uh, wool, which is how temples used to spawn back then. They used to use wool instead of clay, um, instead of terracotta, which is really, really interesting. And it's going to be a great little landmark for our early Minecraft days. This is going to be fantastic to uh, have in the in the world having something so iconic like that something that used to be it's going to be great and i'm yeah i'm very happy to actually have this but now we got to find our way home which means we've got to head in this direction and that direction this here appears to be the way home this way okay it should be on the other side of wait what was it 1250 by oh wait it's on this here it is it's down it should be down here somewhere there it is guys we found it we found it we can go home easy clap let's go home you know what let's just eat a couple apples just just in case just in case we're just gonna eat a couple apples and go back into the nether and then we can get out of here and go back home. Let's go! That was really easy. That was so quick and easy. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Oh, just, oh my god, you lay. So what we're going to do, now we've got ourselves a bunch of pumpkins. We got ourselves, where are they? Where were we put them? We got ourselves a bunch of pumpkins. We got three. Actually, what we'll do is I might make a few more melon seeds, pumpkin seeds even, and we're going to make ourselves a little, we're going to make ourselves a little, um, 
a little pumpkin patch back here just to grow some pumpkins. And when we get a stack of pumpkins, I'll then use those stack of pumpkins and enchant the whole lot of them, which I think is gonna look a lot better than just having one pumpkin because you can enchant an entire stack of pumpkins at a time. Instead of enchanting individual ones all of the time, like armor and stuff, I won't have to do that with pumpkins. I should be able to enchant an entire stack with protection four using the same amount of levels it would take to enchant a piece of armor with the same piece, um, same required bit. So if I put, we'll put some dirt down here. Let me like, I'll just get, I'll just get this done and then we will get straight. Well, that's pretty much as basic as we needed to get. We can now put, I'll hide the water just cause we can hide the water and it won't make any difference in the farm. Re hop that stuff there. And we should be able to all plant all of these. Fantastic. Yes, yes. We can plant all of those. And I think I actually need this to be dirt though. I don't know if it'll grow onto stone. So we'll just put some dirt here so that it can guarantee grow onto all of these. And while I'm grinding away at the mob grinder, these should all grow up. And well, we'll have ourselves a stack of the most OP and um, pumpkins. They're not onions, I was better call them onions. The stack of OP pumpkins you've ever seen. There we go. Look, let's put some more torches up just for, look at this glorious, glorious pumpkin farm. You've, have you ever seen a pumpkin farm as glorious? So now that I can place chests on top of each other, I've really got to do some organizing in this place. And another awesome thing about the updates we've gone through is um, spawn eggs also stack. So storing them is going to be a lot smaller. As I'm looking through the different enchantments we're going to be adding to different blocks, I thought it'd be quite amusing to add sharpness to cactus. So we've got to grab ourselves some more of that. And thankfully, I don't have to go as far for a desert as we did for the ice and for the pumpkin. You know, because there's a desert right there. So we're going to quickly grab ourselves a bunch of cactus. And um, also found that I wasn't able to put more than one enchantment onto each item. Which was kind of a bummer. But I just ended up enchanting more items instead. And there you have it. Efficiency on a sword, sharpness on a stick, unbreaking on an anvil, bane of arthropods on a bed, an enchanted golden apple, a real enchanted golden apple, fire aspect on oak planks, fire protection on a furnace, aqua affinity on a pumpkin, feather falling on carrots, smite on a potato, protection four on pumpkin, blast protection on TNT, sharpness three on cactus, books of enchanted with power, a bow with projectile protection, an axe with looting, feather falling sword, efficiency five on a monster spawner, and protection four on bedrock. Well, that's just going to about wrap it all up for this episode. And I'd just like to thank everyone who's come down to watch this series. I got an incredible amount of feedback from the first episode and it was an awesome feeling seeing how many people enjoyed what we're getting up to over here. I'll see you all in the next episode where we'll be moving into a more modern feel of the game. If you liked the video and you wanted to help support, please hit the like and subscribe button and even possibly leave a comment. I'd love to hear people's feedback and any ideas you might have for the future content from this world. Ciao for now.